loft command is used to connect two sketches made on two different planes by a surface. This surface can be a, a curved surface or of any nature. So let us make a cone. So we will make the base of the cone as circle on XY plane. So the base of the cone is ready. Now for the cone we have to make apex. So we will make a new work plane and on this work plane we will define the apex which will be a point. So this work plane is at a distance from the original XY plane. And now this on this work plane we will sketch and in this case we will sketch just a point. So now we will use the loft command to connect the base with the apex. And the software will decide uh, by itself and it will make a curved surface. So a cone made by the loft command. Now we will make a truncated cone using the loft command. So first we make the base of the cone, again make a circle so the base is on xy plane and the, the, the top surface, the other surface will be on a work plane, so we will make a work plane. So XY plane is for the base and we will make a work plane at a distance from XY plane. So these are the options in work feature. So this work plane is parallel to the XY plane and we can set a distance from the xy plane. So this distance will become the height of this truncated cone. Now we will sketch another face of this truncated cone on this work plane. So we will sketch a circle and this circle can be of smaller diameter or larger diameter. So we can fix the diameter of this circle. So this circle is on another plane 
and the base is on on a different plane so they are on, on two different planes as you can see here so we accept the second sketch now we will use the loft command to connect the base with the other top face so we have made a truncated cone by using loft command <laughs> 